Raider Nation and football fans, it is 10.30 on a Saturday, the day before the Super Bowl, and the Big Tuna is a little upset after listening and getting the updates on the NFL awards or NFL honors. And I'm guessing a lot of Raider fans are upset of what went down, but before we do that, let's remember to always like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below on your thoughts of any situation, maybe even stuff that you want to see upcoming on the channel. Also, be sure to check out our videos. Going to be almost every week, especially now we've decided we're going to cover the XFL. We don't know how good it's going to do, but we really think there's something there. And honestly, it'll be fun because there's more football. No matter if it's good or bad, there's more football to come after the Super Bowl, which is nice. So, okay. In my opinion, both Josh Jacobs and Max Crosby were robbed from the awards. I would say more Josh Jacobs than Crosby, but still, both guys had similar or better numbers. Well, on offense, is different position. So, on the defensive side, the winner and Max Crosby had similar numbers. And on the offensive side, one was a quarterback, one was a running back. You don't know how to gauge that, but it seemed like the NFL did and whoever voted it. So, um, let's start with you know, the one that is just mind-bullying to me. Kyler Murray defeats Josh Jacobs for the Offensive Rookie of the Year. And it was a landslide. Kyler Murray had double the amount of votes that Josh Jacobs did. Are you kidding me? Honestly, NFL, are you kidding me? It just seems like the Raiders can never get voted in anywhere. We never get a lot of primetime games. We never get any love. And whenever Booger McFarlane talks about the team, it's like we're the biggest shitstorm in the world and we're just pieces of shit. And that's not true. But it just seems like the Raiders are never going to get the recognition they deserve. Now, granted, I know Khalil Mack won, uh, you know, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, you know, David Carr earned, like, the most clutch player of the year. But let's be honest, you couldn't give it to anybody else with Mack that year. And if you did, people would be like, uh, what are you talking about? I believe that year he was the biggest favorite in Vegas to win his award. And for Derek Carr, that magical year that we had in 2016, he had, like, four to five or six or seven or eight comeback victories. So he was clutch. And that's a lot of a lot of people miss that about Derek Carr, but that's another whole can of worms that we're not gonna get into. But Josh Jacobs not only getting defeated votes wise, but getting killed votes wise. I mean double? You thought that Kyler Murray NFL was double the better player than I listen I get that he started all 16 games for Kyler Murray you know just over 3,700 yards uh, 20 touchdowns 12 interceptions you know I think it was like 550 rushing yards and, and 4 TDs now okay he's got 24 touchdowns but he's a quarterback he handles the ball every play that's not what Josh Jacobs does Josh Jacobs is a running back and this kid went for 1,150 yards rushing in 13 games. So if you add the next three, averaging at about 89 a game, that's the average, you've got 270 yards plus the 1,150, you have got just over 1,400 yards rushing. And I think if he did that, he would have been a shoe-in. But because he missed a few games during for injury, they decided to give it Kyler Murray because he played the whole season. Listen, I didn't hear anything about Kyler Murray this year, and I cover try to cover all the NFL. And you never heard anything good about Kyler Murray. He was just 
you know, there wasn't anything spectacular. Like last year with Baker Mayfield, he had like spectacular games. Kyler Murray, just nothing as impressive to me and to other Raiders fans. I think that Raiders fans right now are a little shell-shocked at the uh, Josh Jacobs travesty because that should have never happened. He was and is the defensive rookie of the year, and he puts. I hope he puts that chip on his shoulder to maybe next year winning offensive player of the year, maybe MVP. You never know. You never know. Anything can happen in Las Vegas. But, you know, overall, just just total horseshit when it comes to the Josh Jacobs thing. Just absolute horseshit, in my opinion. He got robbed on that, and I'm not surprised. And I thought I should have saw it coming because he didn't get voted to the Pro Bowl. And it's just like, listen, he led all rookies. He was a monster. He was in nothing. All these guys that were praising this guy probably still voted for Murray, even though they were giving Josh Jacobs the, like, he's great, you know, he should be blah, blah. Listen. Okay? Listen. Money is cheap. Talking is cheap. And Josh Jacobs was the offensive rookie of the year. That's all it is. That's all it is. He was the offensive rookie of the year. I've said my piece. I'm sure I'll be talking to guys through comments as well as friends tomorrow. It's just very upsetting that Josh Jacobs got absolutely robbed for the offensive player of the year bullshit, in my opinion. Uh, for the defensive rookie of the year, I mean, you know, Nick Bosa, I mean, he got picked second overall. You know, he was just like the only one besides, you know, Max Crosby and Kyle Al- Josh Allen that produced, you know, good sack numbers. Now, the one thing that I think, for the Crosby sake of it, is that he played in every game, but he only started ten games. With Bosa, he played in every game, but he only he started in 14 games. So technically, there's more you know reps there and all that stuff. But I mean, listen, Nick Bosa, 47 total tackles. Max Crosby, 46 total tackles. Nick Bosa, nine sacks. Max Crosby, 10 sacks. Uh, Nick Bosa, 46.5 QB hurries. Max Crosby, 29. That's a big difference there. I get that. Nick Bosa had an interception with two passes defended. There was four passes defended by Crosby. So right there, he's winning that too. And Nick Bosa had one forced fumble with two fumble recoveries, while Max Crosby had four forced fumbles. Just like Jacobs... I'm not as confident with this one, I'm going to be honest with you, but I think Crosby, really, they didn't give him that much of a look, because I Bose is a hell of a player. He is, and so is Kyler Murray. I mean, I didn't say that. I mean, Kyler Murray's a hell of a player. Doesn't do anything impressive, but he's still a quarterback in the NFL. You're a hell of a player if you're a quarterback in the NFL. You, you at least started that. You know, you know, maybe in a couple of years they think you suck, but you're a good, good you're you're a hell of a talent if you get drafted in the NFL, especially number one. You know, but you know, Bosa and Crosby, even Josh Allen, Josh Allen had more sacks than both of them. It was only point five, but still, it's more. It, it's just it's very frustrating to see that, you know, and and I never buy into the conspiracy theories. But sometimes it just seems like they're there. Like they don't want the Raiders to succeed. They don't want... And it's just... It's crazy that that is even in my head. Because I'm not like... I'm not that kind of person. I don't listen to conspiracy theories. I try to be as real as possible. I go by statistics. All that stuff. But the more and more with, you know, the way teams have been playing and the way the Raiders have brought in some really good players, the NFL won't give them any credit. The most they would give him them was Khalil Mack because he was just a constant professional. And after the 2016 season, Derek Carr. And I get that, but Josh Jacobs still upset about it. You know, he deserved that offensive rookie of the year. And for Crosby, he had similar numbers to the rookie of the year. I hope that he got votes. They really didn't show the votes for the defensive player of the or rookie of the year. But I mean, guys. 
I'm not going to believe every conspiracy theory, but there's got to be something out there. Because there's no way, especially with Jacobs, that he should have been he should have been the offensive rookie of the year. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, Kyler Murray. That was just silly. And it makes me even more mad because, you know, uh, Kyler Murray doubled what Crosby, or what uh, Jacobs had. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put my hands up and say, I don't know. All that's going to happen is nothing. And next year, maybe we'll hear... Josh Jacobs, Offensive Player of the Year, and Max Crosby, Defensive Player of the Year, but at the end of the day, we've got two guys that were in the running and were second or third favorites in winning these awards, which means that the team is going in the right direction, Raider Nation, so good to see him there. I'm sad that Jacobs got robbed, and with Crosby, it was a nice story, but Get back to the grindstone and go win us some games. That's all that matters now. So, that's it, guys. Like I said in the beginning, please like, please subscribe. Um, you know, thank you for watching. And comment below on your thoughts of this situation with uh, the, the Rookie of the Year votings on each side of the ball. Um, and like I said, we're going to try to cover the XFL. And uh, most Thursdays you'll see us talking some baseball and sports as well. So... We'll see you guys soon. Hopefully you have a great weekend and enjoy that Super Bowl because the big tune is picking the Niners and the under. There it is. Niners and the under. So have a good day and we'll see you next time.